and then Kiki Pombone. Of course, every Yugoslavian kid got this. Seriously, I'm having the suckiest start of my day because I was supposed to meet uh, Willy today. Willy has been one of my fans from the start. She supported my ass ever since I had like 300 followers on Instagram. Um, and I was supposed to meet her. We've been planning this ever since September last year, so you sent me an email. I never forget, you know, if you were there from the start, I, I never forget your name. And she sent me an email, I wanna meet up, yada, yada, yada. Of course, I've been uh, traveling a lot, so, and she has her own things to do. She lives in the, uh, the north of the Netherlands. We were supposed to meet today. Her email somehow didn't come through, like what time we would meet. She was at, um, uh, at Amsterdam Central, and I, um, just saw her messages and everything and I was like, wow, just wow. And I sent her emails and she she apparently applied to those emails but I didn't get her replies. And I'm just so freaking disappointed, Billy. I'm so freaking sorry. It just sucks ass. I was look, really, really, really looking forward to this. Like I am, I'm not lying. I love meeting you guys and especially when I know that it's been someone that, like who's been watching my videos and following me for such a long time. I know your ass. I know you. If you've ever left comments or anything, I know who you are and I would love to meet you and I would like to make that effort and everything and it's just... It sucks so badly. So I said to her like I'm so freaking sorry uh, Even though I didn't get the messages or anything So I'm just gonna send her Valrona chocolate for now as like somehow it's an apology like I can't help the technology, but I just feel so bad and uh, We just have to plan another date. Okay, fix the eyebrows fix the eyebrows The only thing that will make me feel slightly remotely better right now is food because I can't. I know this doesn't look good, but it tastes good. Lately, I've been very much into frozen fruit. It's crunchy. Um, I don't like the fact that it's cold, but if you have it with warm oatmeal, it's fine. But I don't know, it seems like to have more flavor or something. I don't know, am I weird? Am I the only one doing this? Okay, it's 5 p.m. I just got showered, dressed, makeup, everything. I actually wanted to record a video with a French candy, but, 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 uh, we are also filming a video with Kat on Sunday and she's going to bring all kinds of gross Chinese stuff and I need to get some Yugoslavian candy for her. So the, the store is closing at 7, it's still 5 but it's quite far away so I think I will be biking for for sure 45 minutes and I don't want to take a risk that the store is closed. So let's go to the store first and I can show you some Yugoslavian candy and stuff like that and then afterwards we can film the video. Such a wonderful day to bike. This is the Fondo Park, by the way. Here we are, the Yugoslavian store Prijatel.nl. All of the Yugoslavian candy and snacks and stuff. Yes, winning in life. Oh my gosh, so this is what I used to eat as a kid. So it's just peanut flips, but I love it. There's a special smoky flavor. And then Kiki Pombone. Of course, every Yugoslavian kid got this. And then uh, Napolitanke as well, but they're not my favorite, but you can try it if you want to try it. And what else do we have? Also this is very, very popular. And you have to try this too. This is like special Evrocream called chocolate. Evrocream is actually kind of like the Yugoslavian Nutella, but you also have like the chocolate version, which I really, really, really like. Oh, Manchmelo is my favorite, 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 favorite ever. And the one thing you cannot miss is Burek. So the meat one is very popular, uh, but I of course eat the cheesy one. So I actually didn't know, but the owner, Apparently also has like a bar called friends around the corner here I don't have time to go now, but maybe next time and also there's like a restaurant next to it foodism 
please check it out if you want to try some Yugoslavian food and snacks and stuff like that. I was so happy to see all this stuff. I get so excited when I see like all of those products that I used to eat as a kid. Ah, it's awesome. Even though a lot of people say you shouldn't do it as a tourist, please bike on these kind of beautiful days. It is truly an experience. Don't do it when it rains, it sucks. But when it's not raining and it's this weather, oh, go biking through Amsterdam. It's beautiful. Look at this. I love the people chilling. Back home and I'm so freaking hungry. You have no idea uh, about the amount of cell control it takes for me to not eat everything in this freaking bag. Okay, that's not true. I'm going to eat these because I just bought them for myself. But like the marshmallow. I want it so bad, but I'm going to wait for the video. I'm going to shoot with cat. I could eat a couple of them. She only needs to try one, right? No, no, I'm <laughs> no. I want to open up the packages together with her, but I am going to eat these. So let's turn on the oven. Wait, wait. How hot does this need? 250 degrees. Let's do this. 250 degrees. You can do it together with me. 250. Yes. Done, 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 done. And now it's time for... Om nom 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 nom. Mm. I took them out a bit early because as you can see, they are pretty and golden brown, but it was like eight minutes before they uh, were supposed to be taken out. So I don't know. Tastes fine. Perfect. Nom 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 nom. It's really good. It's really good. Of course, it's not like the homemade stuff, but it's really, really, really good. Can highly recommend. Go to the store, Priatelli, and get this stuff. And more food. I had some satay, which Nadine gave me with a uh, with a wonderful satay sauce, the peanut sauce mm, from her mom. Best satay ever. Seriously. Nom 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 nom. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Without fail, whenever I'm wearing white, I can't eat. It's just impossible. It looks like I have poo on my nope. Pope. Nope. Pope. No poop. Whatever. Wait, I need to show you something. There was a package which arrived during the e pizza holiday. You need to see this. Brooke. So this is from Red Shop. This is a shop. Red. And they have these amazing, they have lots and lots of t-shirts, but also lots and lots of sweaters. Look at this, sarcasm, sarcasm. The body's natural defense against stupid X. Is your scar stuck in the mud? No, no, of course not. I'm only practicing how to spray mud using my tires. So <laughs> I saw uh, Franny Bay wear a shirt like this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love, love, love what you're wearing. So she had the sarcasm shirt. I am sarcastic. If you watch my long vlogs for a long period of time, I love sarcasm. The harder, the better. I love it, love it, love it. And, uh, oh, that's what she said, <laughs> by the way. And also, I have this one. I licked it, so it's mine. Which is actually uh, one of the possible answers in Cards Against Humanity. I don't know if you ever played that game. It's the most evil game on this earth. But there is... <laughs> There is one answer option uh, which says like um, lick it so it's yours or something. I can't remember. But that's why I love this one. I licked it so it's mine which basically qualifies what I do with food. And especially with French food. Uh, <laughs> because Joey doesn't share. Of course I don't want to be shady. This is a collaboration with the Red Shop. I got these sweaters and I'm going to take pictures with them for Instagram. But I also wanted to show you in the vlog because I honestly, I love it. I love them so much. And I, I was actually asking Franny Bay, Franny, Franny, where can, where can I buy your shirt? So, you know, uh, if I wouldn't have done this collab, I would probably have bought these sweaters. I will link the shop down in the description below if you're interested. And right now I'm going to film the French sweets, candy, whatever, cookies, video. Oh. 
I just recorded a French sweets snacks tasting video. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. The last time with, with Nadine it was way better, but apparently I'm not such a good snack picker in France or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, we are also going to watch a Bollywood movie tonight because I have to record that video as well for Sunday. Actually, I really feel like I need to clean up this mess, especially if we're going to Switzerland in a week. I need to do some freaking laundry. I have 30 minutes before I want to start watching a Bollywood movie. So let's do this. This camera battery is almost empty. So I'm going to put you in the charger so we can watch the Bollywood movie together. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean up this mess. I watched Bajrangi Bajan, the Bollywood movie for the Road Back to India series. If you haven't watched it yet and you want to see my response to the movie and what I learned from it, you can watch the uh, last Sunday's episode. So uh, it is now, wow, it's almost 2 a.m. I am for sure going to uh, take off my makeup, brush my teeth and go to bed and go to sleep. You have the cookies! You have the bees! These are so good. Oh, I love these. If you like this vlog, please put a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and would like to travel along, click that subscribe button and then I will see you next time. Bye.